It would be so easy to do. I'd shoot. I would just pull the trigger, and this nightmare would be over for good. Sweetheart, where are you going? I fell asleep for a bit. <laughs> Precisely. That's why I was leaving, sweetheart. <laughs> so you can sleep, so you can rest. <laughs> Come on, sleep. I am so clumsy, so clumsy. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm a mess, to be honest. But it doesn't matter, sweetheart, I know. How come no one can help you? Why? Just because. And leave me alone now. But Lorena, I know we haven't seen each other in over 15 years. But you worked a whole summer in my house. I know your sister, and, and well, you are little Lorena. And? Until very recently, I was a simple nurse. I'd have walked past you on the street and you wouldn't have recognized me. Yes, but I know it's not like that anymore. I know who you are and I want to help you. What's the problem? Just accept it, for old time's sake. It's not that I don't want your help. It's that literally you can't help me. No one can help me. Of course I can, if you allow me. Lorena, you saved my father's life a couple of times now. Ask me whatever you want. And I'll do it. Whatever I want. Yes. Leave me alone. That's all that I want from you. I thank you for your words and your offer, but no, Alberto. You and I are not friends. We never were. I, I was just a kid feeling platonic love, and you were an educated boy who didn't want to break my heart. So there are no old times, and there's nothing you could do to help me. Just mind your own business. Please, Alberto. I don't want to sound too intense or too cheesy, but you are going to be unforgettable to me. I know. I usually have that effect. <laughs> don't be silly. <laughs> I'm saying it because you know it's obvious you've been the first man in my life. Look, Princess, I can be the second, the third, the fourth, I can be the man you want. Or do you think I just lose my mind over any woman that crosses my path? No, only you make me lose my mind. Also, it was the first time for both. It's crazy. Yeah. Can a person really fall in love this fast? I feel like I'm in love with you. I really wanted to make love with you. Mm -hmm. And you were perfect. Just the way I've always dreamt it. Oh. I feel a bit ashamed to talk about these things. You're going to think I'm crazy, desperate, but no, I don't... No, 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 no way, princess. Can't you see we're soulmates who met last night and will be joined forever? Because I'm not gonna leave you. I'd love to... to be alone. I'd jump on top of you and I'd make love to you again. I never imagined the problems you had with Pablo would be so serious. I don't love Pablo, Isabel, and excuse me, I know you're his sister, but I don't love him. I'm going to talk to him, and I will tell him that he's going to lose you because he's being stupid. No, no, Isabel, he's not losing me. That's not the right word. He has lost me, past tense. So much, I don't even know when it was. Kissing him is almost torture. When Pablo drinks water from my glass, I have to get a clean one because I'm disgusted. <sighs> I hate his smell, his voice, everything. Is that the reason you found refuge in your work? It was either that or jump from the window. My son and the university are the only things that give me the will to move forward. Melina, maybe he just needs a wake-up call. Maybe you married too young. But everything you're telling me has a solution. And what if my only solution, and the one that I want, is divorce? Claudio. <gasps> What's up? What are you doing here? I could have killed him. I could have ended all this. You can't imagine what it was to feel that I had his life in my hands. 
and that I could have ended it in a second. Whose life? What are you saying? Marco Aurelio's. I was in the room and dropped something on the floor. And when I got it, there it was. The gun with a silencer. I guess the nurse hid it there to kill my husband. <sighs> I knew that Pedro wouldn't fail us and that the wife of the hired killer would finish the job. I'm sure she's just waiting for the best time. I didn't do it myself because I don't have a good excuse to justify how I found it, how I got into the room, why I was there. But I felt it, Claudio. I felt the overwhelming desire to kill him with my own hands. I felt no remorse whatsoever. Nothing. <laughs> I didn't leave this like this. My God, maybe somebody got in and moved the gun. Maybe Paco? just came, I came to see how your dad was doing. But since he's sleeping, I'm going. You're not going anywhere. Just look at the bank statement. It's oh, still yes. missing a million dollars. So are you ready to start praying yet? This account looks tasteless, simple. Oh, without the million dollars. But when it had those zeros on the right, that was life. I saw Maria Balbina today. That woman is crazier than you. More respect. Mother, I'm sure it was that woman. I don't know what made her more nervous. The fact that I mentioned the check, or that she saw me and fell in love with me. <laughs> <laughs> Who could resist a son of mine? What you have to do is sleep with her so that we get the million dollars back. <laughs> Princess, how much more could I get to know you? I've already seen you naked and I can't stop thinking about you. We are young. We have to enjoy life. Well, yes, that's true. Hmm. My life needed someone like you because it's super sad. I live with my mother who seems to be more like an older sister than a mother. She has a boyfriend who comes over every time he needs sex. He's so disgusting. Every time he's there, I have to sleep on the couch. That's the way mothers are. Carmen hmm? treats what? me like, like a little pet. She controls me, but when I complain, she gets upset. The Holy Inquisition should punish her. But from now on, Princess, you don't have to worry about her. That's what I'm here for. To treat you like a queen. Like the jewel you are. Because I'm not gonna let you go. Shall we go? Where to? To a hotel. What? But they're going to ask me for an ID. What's the problem? But I didn't bring it. I left my house like... Well, okay, okay, okay. No problem. What's important is that they let us in. I just want us to be happy when we make love. I think that if you went to couples counseling... Oh, please, Isabel. Your brother talking about his marital problems and feelings with a psychologist? Please. <laughs> He will never admit that he's to blame for this. Yes, well, I can imagine that dealing with his arrogance has destroyed all the love you had for him, and now you're tired, bored, neglected. So, I understand you. Has that happened to you before? Is it something about women, or is it about couples? I can't practice much today. I'm just too exhausted from school. Oh, sweetheart. Your auntie has been waiting for you all day for your music lesson. That's right. And get ready, because we're going to have to play a lot to cheer up your mommy. She needs it now more than ever. Mm -hmm. 
I'm sorry, but I can't accept what you're telling me. If you don't want to be my friend, okay. That's your problem. But I do. I am very fond of you, and I want to protect you. And nobody is going to change the way I feel. You don't know what you're saying, Alberto. I do know. Just as I know that what is troubling you is related to your son. Don't get involved in this. Please stop putting pressure on me. Lorena, I'm sorry. I'm already involved. And you're not leaving until you tell me what happened with your son. Come, come. Cry, cry. That's okay. That's okay. Cry. Vent to me. Trust me, I know it's been a long time and you and I are still the same. Deep down, I'm still the same Alberto. The one you wrote the letter to. The problem is that I'm not the same Lorena. I became somebody else. But look at me. Of course you're the same Lorena. Trust me the way I trust my father's life to you. It's in your hands. What is it, Lorena? How can I help you? It's my son's father. He has kidnapped him. But, but why has the father kidnapped his son? You'll have to forgive me, but the guy sounds crazy. Well, it's not that, that he kidnapped him. My son is... But do they let you see him? Are you with him? No, right? That's kidnapping. It's not that, that he has kidnapped him as such. It's an expression. He took him to his mother's home. He, he <sighs> took him from me and gave him to my mother-in-law because I couldn't take care of him because I'm working Lorena, all day. you don't need to make excuses. Nobody can justify that a son be without his mother. That's stipulated in the law as kidnapping. Unless there's something else you're not telling me. No, Alberto, there's nothing else. What's his name? What do you care about his name? I care because we need to report him. No, no, Alberto, you're not going to do anything. You asked me to tell you what was happening, and I did, but that's it. You've no right to get in my life like this. Nobody is asking you to solve my problems. I'll figure it out. I've said no, Claudio. You can't keep doing whatever you feel like in this office, not while Marco Aurelio is alive. Why don't you want me to represent the drug dealers? It's just a case like any other. <gasps> Mrs. Corona. Excuse me, I had no idea that you were busy. Come in, Patricia. This conversation is over. I'm suffering for Alberto. I feel like I'm losing him, even though I know, I know he's never been mine. Everything started as a game and I accepted. I accepted being a friend with benefits, without complaints, without commitment, without unwanted phone calls. But I fell in love with him. Uh, Patricia, it's very uncomfortable to see you crying about Alberta all the time. You accepted the conditions. Now accept the consequences. I take responsibility for what I feel, but if I tell him what I really want, he will leave me. And he will go with that stupid nurse. What are you talking about? My son will never have anything to do with that woman. We already know three of the four Maria Echeveres. Maria Benita is an electrician. Maria Lourdes is an attorney that my father knows. Maria Balbina is the psychic that supposedly talks to the dead. No, no, no. Between a clear mind and talking to the dead, I'd prefer to have a clear mind a million times over. Oh, oh, my million dollars. What are we going to do to get this other one? I have a premonition. I think the thief is the one that we haven't met yet. I think it's her. Mom, this isn't going to get resolved with feelings. This is a serious investigation. The last mm. Maria we're missing is Maria Angelis. 
And you know she is an actress. I'm sure she's poor and would steal a check. You have to be impartial and objective, Ricardo. You cannot fall for the first one. Never do that. You have to be able to know them all perfectly. Otherwise, we won't be able to know which one of the four stole the winning ticket and stole the million dollars. Oh, God. You've given me this file about a drug dealer. What do you expect me to do with it, Claudio? Give me your assessment, please, Your Honor. I can't give you advice on how to defend a convicted criminal who confessed. That wouldn't be ethical. You are misusing Mark Aurelio's absence here. Accepting this case to defend a client that he never would have accepted. Don't give me that kind of a look. Those people offered to pay a large amount of money, and we need that. If money was the most important thing in life, then money would allow criminals and the unscrupulous to have things easier, but that's not the case. Some of us think that our reputation is more important, and laws are put into place to be respected. <clears throat> Let's just say that the old guard is on its way out, Your Honor. Things are changing around here. Yes. <laughs> yes, it seems now that the wrong values, corruption, crime, are the normal models. I am sorry you're making this decision. But don't ever expect me to get involved in your valueless actions. Mm -mm. I don't know what's wrong with this kid, Guillermo. He, he's had a fever for several days, and he wouldn't stop crying because he has a stomachache. I don't know if he's making it up or if it's true. What's wrong, Ignacio? Daddy, my tummy really hurts me still. Oh, don't worry about it, kid. They're just worms. Come on. No, 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 Mom. It's not worms. He really is sick. I talked to the doctor. He has a very serious condition. Oh, well then, I don't know what you're going to do. I'll take him to the hospital right away. Ugh. I don't want to be nosy, but you're still so nervous, frightened. Can I help you? Has your son told you then? No, no. I didn't talk to Alberto. I want to help you because I am very grateful to you. Thank you, Mr. Corona, but you don't need to worry yourself about it. My problems are the same as any other single mother's. Nothing more. Ignacio's been admitted to the hospital where he used to work. He's with Dr. Olimpo. What? What, what? what happened? What happened to Ignacio? Is he okay? Is my son alive? Lorena, what happened to your son? He's in the hospital where I used to work. His pediatrician works there. What happened is that my son has a rare condition, and if he doesn't get the attention he needs on time, he could die. I'm sorry, sir, but I have to go. I need to go get my son back. Go ahead. Don't worry about me. Go. Paco. Tell me, sir. Why would Lorena say that she has to get her son back? nerves would have meaning if you didn't know me. We are grown-ups. Free. Single. Because you don't have a boyfriend, right? Of course not, Elvis. Then we are not hurting anybody. Let it be, Virginia. I swear we are not going to do anything that you don't want to do. What if they saw us come in? I'm ashamed. I don't want them to think that I'm a slut who comes to these places and... With her boyfriend. But if you want, we can go. Really? You're my boyfriend? Virginia, you're the love of my life. And I wouldn't want to waste another second. 
I'm your boyfriend, Virginia. I'm your boyfriend, and boyfriends do things to get closer every time. And then the plane arrived. It was broken, so it started falling. It started falling, boom. With this one, I'm going to be straightforward. I'll scare her with my big lawyer words. Because adults have no imagination, right? Of course not. Give me a moment. Let me finish here, and we'll take all the photos you want. Oh, well. Oh, oh. here's another candidate. <laughs> Here I am, my love. How are you feeling? Are you feeling really badly? Mommy, I had a headache again, and my throat was all swollen. So the doctor gave me some medicine. The doc? What doc? My friend, Dr. Limpio? Yes, Lorena. I saw myself. Doctor, thank you. I owe you my life, believe me. Thank you. Ignacio is stable. But when he got here, he had a very high fever. His tonsils and his glands were inflamed. His condition was very delicate. Okay, but we still brought him in. Also, at his age, all kids get fever, right? I mean... Shut up. Lorena, you are a professional nurse. You know the condition your son is in. I told you when I saw him that he would be needing special care or else you would be risking his life. What happened? Why did you let Ignacio get to the state? This is very irresponsible. No, 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 no. I didn't come here for this. For you to start scolding me, I'm taking my kid. Don't even think about getting close to him. Get out of here, Guillermo. Wait outside with your mother. Get out. I know you're right, doctor. It was all my fault. He was with my mother-in-law, but I shouldn't have abandoned him. Look, I swear the last thing I want in my life is to leave him alone. You should be thankful they brought him in in time and he's okay now. When I finish administering the medicine through the IV, he'll be discharged and you can take him home. <laughs> I brought you a visitor who wanted to see you. Yes. Hi, Grandpa! <laughs> Champ. What do you say? God bless you. God bless you. Grandpa, isn't it true that you can't eat so many chocolates? Yes. Yes, it's true. But right this moment, I'm gonna eat one. Just one. <laughs> and the rest I'm gonna save. Well, if nobody wants to share with me. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> And what's up with you? Oh, Daddy. I think I have to divorce Pablo before anything gets worse. Do you think that your mom and I had no crisis? Many. But that's what marriage is all about. It's not about I love you every morning. No. It's about being human beings. About having our defects and our virtues. Oh, Daddy. Oh. Daddy, you always have the best advice. Because my bed is on my family. Because it's the most important thing in my life. So do not rush. Those are issues every marriage has. <sighs> and the only way to get over it is reigniting the love. Oh, Dad. And how do you reawaken love when it's not there? You are crazy, Claudio. You're doing things as if Marco Aurelio was already dead. I should have known that your brother-in-law would have come to tell you all about it. The big Judge Trejo. Big fan of Marco Aurelio's morals. But what's wrong, Claudio? 
You can't screw up the basics. I want the money that cartel offered. It's a lot. And I can easily win that case. And I'm going to do it. While your husband punches his ticket to visit Satan. Things will be way easier when that wimp is dead. I am the first one to be interested in those changes. But slowly. Step by step so nobody can ever go back. Firstly, Marco Aurelio must die. Then you and I will bring this law firm a new era of prosperity and profit. <laughs> What are we doing, Mommy? Haven't you heard the doctor? He dismissed you. You're feeling well. Listen to me, Ignacio. You're going to come with me, okay? But you need to do exactly what I tell you, okay? Exactly? Exactly what I tell you to do, okay? Wait for me here. Your father's not coming, because from now on, it will just be you and me. And nothing and no one will separate us again, sweetheart. Come, come now. Get down, rest your head, and don't look up, okay? Okay? Whatever happens, don't look up no matter what, Ignacio, okay? Yes? right here because they may call the police. Wait. Call Pedro. Ask him to come help you. And then you go down the stairs and you go and wait for her downstairs. I bet she has no way to get out. I will stay here. I'm sure she'll go back upstairs. Lorena. You have to go visit Marco Aurelio. He's your brother. You have to keep up appearances, Claudio. I want to go visit him. And take him flowers. But at the cemetery. So he leaves that bed available. Where I plan to make love to you every day. For the rest of my life. Oh. oh. Tell me the police have already arrested Marco Aurelio's assassins. We need to know who is behind all this. I don't know how you can stand yourself. You're always so dramatic, always exaggerating everything. How do I not get alarmed when somebody's trying to kill your husband? What if something happened to you? You're right. I'm sorry, Paulina. I'm very tense about everything. I forgive you because I know it must be hard to be married to a man who is marked for death by ruthless assassins. No widow looks good, but we are strong women and we can make it through. And that's the way it's going to be. This situation won't defeat me. Lorena, is this your son? And how is he doing? No, 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 please come back, no! Calm down, Lorena, it will come back down. Alberto, what are you doing here? How did you find me? My father told me what happened to you. He told me your son was at the hospital where you worked. You can't be here, Alberto. You're going to get me in trouble. Please, I need you to just leave me alone. Lorena, but problems with whom? With your husband? No. Well, yes. Yes, you don't know how he is. That's why I don't want to involve you in my personal business. Please, Alberto, just leave me. Calm down. You're right. I don't know how he is. But I do want to meet him, to ask him how he dares to take a son away from his mother. Alberto, he's gone now. He's not here. Get out, please. Just leave. Lorena, you and your son are coming with me. That's the only way I'd leave here. Hello? If you take that kid, 
Alberto is a dead man. You idiot! Can't you ever do anything right? Well, Pedro, what do you want me to do? The kid is sick. I had to bring him to the hospital. Lorena. Lorena's with that guy, Alberto. You need to calm down. I will take care of everything, but don't you dare let this guy see you. Because if you do, we are lost. Pedro. Go, go, go. Pedro, my mother is there. Use her to stay with Ignacio. Don't let her, please, Pedro, don't let her take my son with, with that imbecile. <laughs> Calm down. I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> go, 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 go. <sighs> How are you feeling? Better, but I don't want to go anywhere with my grandma. Are you waiting for anybody, Lorena? And why don't you want to go with your grandmother, huh? Grandmothers are the best. They give grandkids what they want. My grandma is really mean. Oh. She's always scolding me. Yeah. That's why from now on, it's only going to be you and me together. No one will separate us, okay? We're going to be together. That seems pretty good to me. Listen, buddy, your mother is the bravest woman I've ever met. The bravest or the most stupid. Who, who calls you so much, huh? Your husband? You could let me answer that and explain to him that he can't take your child from you or continue to scare you. No. No, I will answer. I'll take care of this. Hello? I know where and with whom you are because I am also here. If you dare take the child, I will kill your boyfriend. You hear me? And then I'll kill you and the kid. Don't even think about making any mistakes. Dad, it's that Pablo isn't the same as he was. I feel he stopped loving me a long time ago. And it's only now that I started reacting to it. Put your home on a scale. And my grandson, who needs a solid family, and everything you've experienced with Pablo all these years, and if that doesn't weigh more than the problem, then you get a divorce. Dad. I forgot to tell you that I was named the head of a very important research project at the Institute of Oceanography. It's in the Caribbean. Sweetheart, congratulations. <laughs> I, 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 be careful. No. Oh, 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 oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> congratulations, oh. sweetheart. I knew you were going to be a success in that field. I knew it. <laughs> Maybe this is the start of many successes that will come for you. Hmm? Look, and Pablo? Is he happy about this? No. No, he demanded that I quit my job so I can take care of our home. Dad, there's just no way that I can weigh that on a scale. You know me. Did you like it? And you? No. Hmm? I mean, yes, 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 it was, it was awesome. Even better than the previous time. <clears throat> but we use no protection and... Virginia, calm down. Nothing is gonna happen. Are you sure? Look, I feel like we are just going too fast and that this speed could be dangerous because... The only thing that could happen to us would be to become addicted to the moments we are together. <sighs> Elvis, you are the best. I love you. <laughs> uh, could you do me a favor? Get Dr. Limpo. He has the prescription for Ignacio's medication. That's the only thing we're missing, and then we can all go. Oh, uh, perfect. I'll go find him, but you wait for me. Hmm? Don't move. <sighs> Mommy, your friend asked us to wait for him. Yes, sweetheart, we can't, but we shouldn't do that to him. He has no responsibility in our problems. Also, look at me. You and I are going to be better alone. Trust me, my prince, everything is going to be okay.
Are you going somewhere? With my nephew? I am not going to repeat myself. If you don't hand him over to his grandmother so that she can have him, I will have a good time killing all three of you. Do you think that you can run away? Don't be so stupid. I have men at every single exit of this hospital. So that way, when you get to the parking lot with your new boyfriend, boom! It's over for Lorena. It's over for Alberto. And it's over for Ignacio. Please. Please. Will you just leave us alone? I have nothing to do with the gentleman you want to kill, please. My son has a fever. Don't take him away from me now, please. The doctor said the boy is fine, so it's up to you to decide. Hand over the boy. Or this is the end to your movie. Don't forget about me. <laughs> well, I told you when I finished there, you could take as many photos with me as you want. But you took too long, so I took it. And you? Are you dressed up as a superhero? Dressed up? Superhero? For real? I'm the Little Prince. What is a better hero than the Little Prince? Excuse me, my ignorance in the subject of the arts. Uh, I'm a lawyer, and one of the boring ones. <laughs> Here, here's my card. <laughs> <gasps> okay. If one of the kids becomes annoying on the day of the play, call me and I'll sue his pants off. <laughs> <laughs> but childhood is the best time to be annoying, to break all the rules and get away scot-free. I think that's why I work on children's theater. Because my public has no prejudice. They're just kids, and with that, my job is done. And playing in the streets is enough for you to make a decent living? To live. <laughs> I, I mean, uh... It makes the soul live. And that is sufficient. But sure, yes, I need food to live, right? That's why I play the clown, storyteller, puppets, a bit of everything. Mmm, <laughs> I see. I knew I'd seen you somewhere else before. Mm-hmm. Is there any chance you went to a charity benefit recently honoring some NGOs? The one in the house of that lawyer they tried to kill? Yes, 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 I was there. I, I was going to perform on stilts. <laughs> Come on, let's go. What's up? <laughs> this Maria, she was also at the party at my uncle's house. And she says she makes a living doing whatever she has to do to make some money. Of course she could have stolen the million dollar check somehow that night. Lorena, I was looking for you. Where were you? What's up? What's going on, Mommy? Lorena? Mommy? I don't want to go with my grandmother. She was very mean. But... But I don't think I understand. Excuse me, miss, but it's clear that this boy doesn't want to go anywhere with you. Is this his grandmother? Calm down, Alberto. I know what I'm doing. Mommy, mommy! I don't want to go with my grandma! I know it's not very professional to leave you like this halfway through your recovery, but I can't keep on working here. My son is not doing well. He has a condition called Kawasaki. I know the condition, and I'm really sorry. 
then you certainly understand that I need to take care of him myself. Of course, and no surprise. But please, talk to Gertrude. Maybe there's something we can help you with. I don't think so, but sir. But you can't go without talking to Gertrude. We would like to repay you in some way for everything you've done for us. That's okay, sir. I promise. I won't go before I talk to your wife. Come to bed. Uh, in a few minutes, Pablo. But we can enjoy those minutes to make a sibling for Jose Pablo. Mm -hmm. mm, I've got a headache. What's going on, Malena? Uh, I don't want you to touch me. Hey, 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 what's up? You're my wife, Malena. What's going on? Are you having an affair? Or worse yet, are you pregnant? Don't say that. No, 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 that. I'm saying what I see. What's up? Hmm? You don't want to be with me anymore? Did you stop liking me like my stupid sister? Oh. Don't ever. Oh, sweetie, I'm sorry. I didn't know Hannibal was coming today. If you could please just stay on the couch. Don't get too creative, Carmen. I know what you're going to do. You should demand that he pay for a hotel for you, even if it's just for one night. Virginia, show some respect. Win my respect. Or at least look for somebody who values you more. I'm upset for the way you let him use you. Just because he warms up your bed every now and then. Don't talk to me like that. I'm still your mother. What gives you the right to say that? That I have a boyfriend who values me more than you. Note that I did as I should, and I came to visit my brother. I couldn't see him. He was occupied having some kind of meeting with his nurse. Huh? <sighs> you know him. Marco Aurelio loves to hear her miseries because he feels he's a champion of the poor. <laughs> Claudio, not at home, not here. I love it when you tell me off. No. <laughs> you like playing with fire, right? Yeah. Hmm? And you like me too. Huh? I know it. You can't forbid me to kiss you. You're mine, not my brother's. Yes, I'm yours, but we need to keep it secret. Yes. We love each other, and that's all that matters. I need to feel your body again. I want yes. to make you mine once again. Enough, mm -hmm. enough, no, no, Let's go, come no. on, let's get out of Claudio, this hell. We can't. Marco Aurelio. Shh. No, Marco Aurelio. Marco Aurelio can die. Uh, no, Claudio. Mm. Claudio, <laughs> no. You have a boyfriend? And why haven't you told me? Since when? Carmen, please. Hannibal, do me a favor and wait in the bedroom! First you tell me you want to lose your virginity, but that you're alone. And then you disappear for a while with the nephew of Marco Aurelio Corona. And now... You come to me with news of a boyfriend. I'm madly in love. <sighs> love exists, and it's the way it's described. It's scary, it messes up the butterflies in my stomach, and... The kind of guys that take advantage of naive young girls, like you, have the same effect. How old is he? 23. But you know I hate the <sighs> immature guys my age. <gasps> with him, I feel like I can talk about serious things, and, and he doesn't get bored with anything I tell him. Wasn't that the advice you gave me? That before I had sex, I loved someone? I know the kind of love that you can expect from that boyfriend. Take this. Do you know how to use it? You're so basic, Carmen. Yes, I know how to use it. I was taught in school. But I'm not paying attention to that, and neither is he. He will make me his queen. I love him, and he loves me also. Love at first sight doesn't exist. I will prove to you you're wrong. Elvis is not like the other guys at school. I fell in love, 
and I won't let you ruin it. Don't you ever think about hitting me again. Tell me the truth. Did you stop liking me? Just like my sister Isabel? You're crazy. And get your hands off of me. You're hurting me. I never imagined you'd treat me like this. Where is the man I fell in love with? No, 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 don't answer. It's clear to me that this, this is you. And if you think that trying to intimidate me is going to get you what you want, you are so wrong. Now, to say I'm pregnant, that is just... You are both so incredibly selfish, both of you. What do you do? Do you talk trash about me in my own house? Your sister even stood up for you. She wanted to help us save our marriage. She's a woman I respect because she has never done anything to hurt me. I respect her so much more than you because she doesn't resemble you at all. Oh no, I know what's happening to you. I know what's happening to you. What you want is for me to please you. That's it. You are asking me out loud, Milena. Oh, so you want me to be more macho. Is that it? No. Let's leave the conversation here. It has lost all logic. I'm leaving because my son is in his room and I don't want him to hear you. Let me go. The conversation ends when I say so. If we had negotiated with the drug dealers, then for We've sure- We've already talked about that, and I told you it can't be done. For now, we can't negotiate with anybody. As long as Marco Aurelio is still alive and well, we remain trapped in every corner we turn to. I'm going to call Pedro to find out when the nurse is going to kill him. I swear that I'm about to confront her and put pressure on her to do it. And haven't you thought about other options? Divorce? We wouldn't enjoy the money, but very Marco likely... Marco Aurelio would never accept a divorce. <laughs> He's one of those ridiculous romantics who professes his eternal love to me. <laughs> no. The best option, as drastic as it may seem, is to kill him. Judging by her attitude, it didn't go very well with Gertrude. She didn't want to let you go? What did she say? Uh, Did anything happen? No, not at all. I couldn't talk to Mrs. Corona. She was locked in the library and I didn't want to interrupt. Oh, then, if you want, we can go together and talk to her. No, no, please. There's no need. Mrs. Corona is going through so much, I don't want to disturb her. <laughs> I can tell that you two are very close, that you love each other. Gertrude and I have a relationship that resists anything. Of course, it wasn't always like this. We had our ups and downs. But after so many years alive together, I can assure you she's the woman that I will spend the rest of my life with. And I will die by her side. God willing. I hope that's not God's will. That I love her as much as she loves me. I have to get going. Do me a favor and explain to Mrs. Corona that I had to quit. Mm -hmm. Tell her that I wanted to tell her myself, but she was busy. Get well soon. Thank you. So have you slept with him yet? You know so little about love, Carmen. I can tell you never experienced true love. And no, I didn't sleep with him. We want to take it slowly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to believe that a 23-year-old man is going to control his desire to be with a beautiful, naive, innocent girl like you who has a neon sign stuck to her forehead saying, I want to lose my virginity. That's a long shot for him. Oh, that's what you think of me? That they'd only look to me to use me and that's it? Oh, my love, you deserve something better. That's why I want you to take it easy. Oh, Carmen, would you just stop it? I am wiser than you and we've discussed this, so relax. What happened to you definitely won't happen to me. The only one here with a dirty conscience who can only think about sex is you. My boyfriend is not like that. 
Promise me that if you have <gasps> sex with that guy, you will use protection. Carmen, enough. Stop wasting your time with my boring life and go to the room. Don't make your darling Hannibal wait any longer. I don't want you to go through what I went through. That's all. permit you to disrespect me that way. You are my wife, and I can kiss you whenever I want. You ended the love, Pablo. What do you want? What do you want to make me feel disgusted? I'll give you reasons for you to feel disgusted. I will give them to you, Milena. So you feel really disgusted. Let go, <laughs> let me go, Pablo. Please, please, our child is in his room. Please, shut up. I don't want him to hear you, please. <laughs> Just be quiet, just be quiet. Yes, yes, quiet. If you're quiet, he won't hear you. I won't make you feel like you used to. I will remind you why you gave me a child and why you fell in love with me. Let me go! Let me go! Mama, please! Please, please! Let me go! Let me go! Just be quiet. Just be quiet. Just be quiet. Just be... Remember that our son could wake up at any moment. Remember, okay? Enjoy this, because I know that you will enjoy it, okay? Uh, no, no. <sighs> My son is not well. I went to talk to you, to tell you personally, but you were... busy, and I didn't want to disturb or interrupt. And why didn't you tell us about your son? We were supposed to have hired a full-time nurse for this position, dedicated exclusively, so we wouldn't have these kinds of issues. I'm sorry, ma'am. It's my fault. I should have said it before. But I thought that my son would recover quickly and that it wouldn't interfere with my job. Well, I suppose there's no way to keep you here. If I were you, I'd think about it again. Think about it? What is there to think about? If she has a sick son, then there's nothing more important in the world than that. Mm. Sweetheart, but quitting a job while having a sick child isn't the most advantageous. What money will she support him with? How will she pay for his treatments? That wouldn't be helping her son. How did it go? With the last Maria that you met. <laughs> it was her. I knew it. She was the thief. I imagined her with fur, coats, and expensive clothes, limos, and chauffeurs. Five-star travel with a stolen million dollars. No, Mom, not at all. No. This Maria's a different kind of crazy. Not like you. Well, not as insane as you. She's an artist. She works on children's theater in the streets. That's exactly why she could have stolen the money. Because if I have to beg for money on the streets, dressed as a puppet, having to deal with kids that aren't even mine, and, and I see a check, I take it! I don't know, Mom. I don't know her enough to figure out if she's even capable or not of doing it. What I did find out is that she was at the party at Marco Aurelio's house. That would make her a strong suspect, too, just like the other three Marias. Hmm. And how are we going to find out which of the four stole it? Because even if I lost my purse, she took the check out of it, completed it, and stole it from me. I just know it. Yes, she stole a check that you signed and then left blank, as if it was a personal greeting card. The only thing we can do now is to be patient. At least we know who they are. Now I need to see how I can start seeing the four of them. <sighs> You know what you're doing, miss. Hello? Who told you to quit? I am your boss, the one deciding if you go or if you stay where you are. Who told you that I quit? That doesn't matter. What matters is, is that you realize that you have no other choice. You're trapped everywhere you look. I know every move you make and every word you say. It's Mr. Claudio and Mrs. Corona, isn't it? Somebody wants to say hello. Hello, Mommy. 
sweetheart. Sweetheart Ignacio. Yes, 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 it's mommy. How are you, sweetheart? How are you? Are you okay? Are you feeling better? Are you okay? I miss you too, my sweet little prince. So what happened? Did you talk to your son? How's he doing? How is he? Who's taking care of him? Yes, yes, he's with his grandmother. And he's much better, thank God. I talked to him and I could hear in his voice that he's much better. Uh... The treatment is helping him a lot. Great, then will you stay with us? Yes. I will assume my responsibilities and and do my job. Oh, excellent. <laughs> I didn't want to look for another nurse. I'm going, brother. I have work to do at the office in the morning. My love, I don't want another nurse either. I am more than satisfied with Lorena. She's a professional and does her job really well. Exactly, sweetheart. She can do really well. The job she was hired to do. Mm-hmm. You can go. <laughs> you have to fulfill your duty as my wife. That's what being my wife means. I don't care that we're married. I didn't want to. You forced me. If you had done it willingly, we wouldn't have gotten this far, Milena. Oh my God, like all women, your duty is to satisfy your husband. I hate you, I hate you! You buried all the respect that I had for you. I feel humiliated, betrayed by my own husband. What have I done to you? <laughs> Tell me, what did I do to get us here where we are? <laughs> I can't believe how I lost so many years of my life dedicated to a man who's never valued me. Okay, enough drama. Except that you liked it. I know when a woman moans from pleasure, that's what I heard a few minutes ago. Uh, except that you liked it more than I did, hmm? I did you a favor, Milena. So get rid of that desire to try and take off on your own. <laughs> Come on, let's get together. So you don't have to sleep on the couch, but with me, having a great time all night long. No, no, that's not what it's about. To me, it's just enough to be able to talk to you about my stuff. Because I feel like you understand me. We are connected, even with the short time we've been together. Oh, Carmen is such a loser. She doesn't care that guys treat her badly. She even told me you only wanted me for sex uh, and- Virginia, something's happening in the kitchen. Yeah, mom, I'm coming, mom. I think the gas valves exploded in the kitchen. This is chaos, talk later, yeah? I'm coming, mom. <sighs> What's more, he's a good son. The guy is perfect. Any progress on the investigation of the attack? Did you find out who the masterminds behind it are? Why are you asking? Because sometimes we have the truth right in front of us and we don't want to, or we can't see it. Lorena, do you know anything that we don't know? You were there the day they tried to kill my father at the hospital. Did you see anything that we didn't? No. Nothing. Excuse me. Then we have to change the pain yes. and inflammatory medications without stopping the antibiotic, right? Right. Okay, what's important is that my dad is getting better day by day. And who wouldn't get better 
with a nurse like Lorena. I'll walk you to the door, doctor. Enjoy your meal, everyone. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Speaking of Lorena, she said something that made me think. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we have the truth so close that we're not able to see it. And it's true. Those drug dealers are after us, all thanks to you, Claudio. If you hadn't given them some hope that we would defend them, nothing ever would have happened. But you underestimated, and I pay the price. Good morning, everybody. Morning. And why those faces so early in the morning? Well, I'll see you at the office, Gertrude. Was it something I said? No, Patricia. It has nothing to do with you. I hope you have nothing to do today, because I want you to come with me somewhere. <sighs> do you remember you asked me for help with, um... Patricia, may I have a minute so we can talk alone? Please. Excuse me. What's uh, up, sweetheart? Why so serious? I won't be able to go with you. Please, Alberto. It's just one day out as friends. In fact, it's absolutely professional. Yes, but I'm going to stay here in the house all day. With a nurse? Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Excuse me. I know that was totally inappropriate. Alberto! Alberto, do you really feel something for that woman? Not that I care, no. But look how you get when I talk about her. Patricia, please. She's simply a friend. She's little Lorena. Little Lorena? <laughs> Alberto! Alberto, it's clearly evident that you like the nurse. It's obvious he likes her. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. What do you know about the assassins who tried to kill my brother? Mr. Claudio... Speak! Uh, nothing. I... I know nothing. Tell me. Believe me, why are you asking me those things? I'm just a nurse, that's all. Why would I know who attacked Mr. Corona? Excuse me. It's just that I thought you could help the police if you knew anything else. After all, you were the one who gave away the hired killer who died at the hospital. That was just by chance, sir. I didn't know anything about that man. I didn't even know him. And if you heard anything else, would you go to the police? And would you help to apprehend the culprits? I don't want to get myself into any trouble, nor have anything to do with anyone. I, the less I know, the better it is. Apparently, you're not so silly. Get out of here. Pedro, it's me. Does the nurse know that Gertrude and I are behind this whole thing? No. She doesn't know anything, and she won't find out. Because it's none of her business. Her assignment is to finish the job, and that's it. I'm so sorry I called you, but... It's just that I had no one else to call. No, Melena, please. We are friends, and I would never judge you. Pablo? Pablo? Pablo assaulted me. He forced me to have sex 
with him because he was so angry. I said no. I fought back. That brute is gonna hear it from no, me. No, 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 Isabel, please. Please, Isabel, don't intervene in this. Malena, he can't force you to have sex with him because he's your husband. I hate men that do those kinds of disgusting things. Excuse me, Malena, but I can't. I'm so disillusioned. So disillusioned with him. After so many years together to do this to me? I don't know what's happening to Pablo. Pablo can't accept that you don't love him anymore. It's hurting his macho ego, and that's why he's acting like, like an animal. I'm ashamed to be his sister right now. Milena, you can count on me. Anything, whatever you decide to do, I will stand by you. I was just thinking that your job didn't solve anything last time, so... Can I see you again? Can we get together? Ricardo, I need you to explain to Maria Lourdes the issue that we're having with the blackmailer. Unfortunately, I have a meeting and I have to go. I will leave her to you. Excuse me. Hi, Maria Lourdes. Would you like some coffee or juice? Oh, I don't understand why everyone is always offering juice or coffee. Don't you understand that everyone needs water? And I want it here because I still don't know who washes the glasses in this office, if they even get washed. Bad night. As I do every time you make me sleep on the couch so you can have a good time. Are you having breakfast? I'm not hungry. Carmen, where did you happen to leave the condom that you offered me yesterday? Are you going to have sex then? No, but I'd rather have it and not need it than the other way around. <laughs> it's just a precautionary measure. Oh, that's the smartest thing you can do. With that, you avoid any illness or an unplanned pregnancy changing your life. Yes, I know, Carmen. Oh, sweetie. I know that I said this before, but if you don't want to have sex, don't do it just because. And please, don't get pregnant at your age. Think about the consequences. Oh, obligations, responsibilities, sacrifices. If you understand all that, and the passion is still consuming both of you, you will use a condom. Yes, I obviously won't have sex without protection. I'm not a silly girl. I came to bring the book back, but I'm leaving. No, hold on, wait a minute. Why are you always so nervous like this? You look like you'd like to say something and, and you can't. And you? Hmm? You're always asking me what's up, but you never tell me how you're doing. I'm really worried about my dad's situation. Until the police find the assassins and the masterminds behind them, I won't be peaceful. Is that true? Could you really be peaceful after meeting the masterminds who want to kill your father? I'll be at peace when I see them in jail, where they belong. Alberto. Brother. Alfonso. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a hug. Is this the only way to see you, or for you to remember your friends? With an attack? You have to report Pablo. What he did is a felony. I feel stupid just thinking about it. I'm his wife, and I don't know. Maybe the police won't believe me, and they'll just side with him. He's a well-respected lawyer. Milena, you cannot behave like a fragile woman right now. If he has done it once, he will do it again. You have to confront him. Maybe I, I provoked him. Yes, and, and well, no, no, I, I'm not the first woman, nor, nor the last one to live a situation like this one. All right, I don't know. At least talk to someone who could give you legal advice about this. If you want to get a divorce, right now is the exact time to do so. Yes, yes, I'll do that. I'll do that, but please don't talk to anybody about this, please. If you do not report him, I will. No. No, Isabel, that would make things much worse. 
I know how to handle this. Please don't make me feel it was a mistake to trust you. You have no idea how thankful I am to see the sun one more day. Of course, it would be best without this armed babysitter. Sir, I'm taking care of you. You're exposed out here. Yes, yes, I know. Exposed to be killed, huh? I know. Doctor. Thank you. Do you have any idea who's trying to kill you? I mean, do you suspect anybody? Hmm. At this time, I suspect everybody and nobody at once. Phantoms circle my head. But I can't find an explanation to who wants to see me dead. But are you sure, sir? I don't know, somebody you know... Why are you asking me such a question? What do you know that I don't? Dad and I are investigating who the masterminds were, while the police are focusing more on looking for the assassins. Mm, you know you can count <sighs> on me. Yes, I know. And how are you feeling? I was just talking with the nurse about that. I've never seen a case before where the victim was attacked multiple times, one after the other. Hmm. My father is in danger, Alfonso. He isn't safe even in his own home. These people who want him dead have proven they're willing to attack him under any circumstances. Hmm. Tell me, Lorena, do you know anything about the attack on me? You were with the family from the very beginning in the clinic. Do you know who wants me dead? Mr. Corona, how Don't can you think Don't lie to me. What do you know? What did you see? Where were you exactly when the gunman shot at me? Actually, why did you decide to put the bulletproof vest on me? I did it because I thought of it. It seemed like the right thing to do after the two attacks. To be honest, sir, if I had seen anything you know, I would have told you immediately. That's precisely why I need you to tell me everything you know. What do you know? Even the smallest thing that will help. Or could it be that you saw somebody at the party who was at the clinic? No, no, sir, I'm, I'm telling you the truth, I swear. But please don't worry. I promise you that if I hear anything, I will come tell you straight away. If you had lost your virginity, I would know, right? Uh, you're so dramatic. I always tell you everything that happens to me, even if you're not interested. Because I'm looking at you, Virginia, and I'm your mother, I know you. And they say that when we women lose our virginity, our mood changes. And for the last few days... I know nothing about sex. And yes, I was very curious about it, but that all changed with my boyfriend. We are taking it easy. Virginia, you can fool me, but be careful about believing in all of your lies. Don't get pregnant. You're only just now opening your wings, and that would be like an anchor. I know I'm your anchor and that I ruined your life. You don't need to remind me all the time. No, the mistake was mine, my love, and that's why I assumed my responsibility with you. That's what I want you to understand, that you must decide about your own future. Sir, I wanted to know if you'd allow me to go see my son. You know he's still very ill. Yes, yes. Take your time. Go. I will be here with Paco. You are suspecting about Lorena, right? Hmm. It's been many years interrogating guilty and innocent people. I can tell when people are lying to me. It may be something minor, but I know for sure that Lorena knows something that she doesn't want to tell me. It's a ridiculous place, uh, an action against it without the crime being Maria, committed. Maria, Maria, Maria.
Don't you get bored of talking about work all the time? Maybe we should get to know each other better. Start a friendship. Firstly, I don't want to be your friend. Secondly, I don't need to know you. I have enough knowing you are Judge Trejo's son. Thirdly, I talk about work because I'm not at a party. Today, I am working. Speaking of parties, did you go to the reception my Aunt Gertrude organized a few days ago? And by any chance, did you maybe find a purse while you were there? Yes. Ah, and what happened with that? You know what? Let me tell you, the kids your age are way too immature. They're just thinking about a party or a video game. Let me tell you something. Even if all of this belongs to your father, you need to be very serious about this if you want to work at a law firm. It's getting late. I have to go. Thank you for this pleasant conversation. But it's getting late. You understand. And you would leave a case like this? I'm sorry, Maria Lourdes. I'm off. <sighs> and what are you here for? To rob, um, I mean, uh, to repair? Sit down. Hello, Gun. I'm just waiting for Ricardo, who told me there was another electrical failure. Oh, Ricardo uh, mentioned that you were at the party at Corona's house. Yes. And I was just wondering if you may have found the missing purse. Yes. I found it and gave it to a lady who works there so that she could put it away. Ah, oh, prison lord! Oh, you are a saint, sweetheart. Oh. <sighs> oh I'm going to light a candle. Excuse me. Uh, well, I, I want to thank you so much for having given me the purse back and not stealing it. <laughs> oh, because this world is so full of vermin, scoundrels, and thieves, you know? Yes, I got it. <laughs> don't worry. Uh, yes. And you don't, uh, yes. you don't need to thank me. Uh, insolent. Uh, oh, uh, I mean, because I forgot to tell you that the world is full of such insolence. I want my son. Did you kill the old man? Because that is the only way you'll get your son back, and you know it. Unless I go straight to the police and tell them the names of those trying to kill Mr. Corona. Because I know who they are. want them to kill both of us at once? No! I just want you to give me my son back! And if you don't get him straight away, I'll go to the police. And I will tell them that Alberto's mother and his uncle are behind the attacks on Mr. Corona, because they are lovers. Could you tell me who told you such a fairy tale? It's not a fairy tale. I saw them kissing myself. The fact they're lovers doesn't mean they want to kill the old man. I was going to quit. And I'd only told Mrs. Corona and her lover and her husband, Mr. Corona. All of a sudden, Claudio comes out of the room and five seconds later, I get a call from Pedro to tell me that I couldn't quit and he threatens me. How did Pedro find out? So he's not only a murderer, he's also clairvoyant? Two plus two is four. It's obvious the brother-in-law got out, called him and told him. It's the two of them. I don't care who wants the old man dead. Do your job so I can get the rest of the money that Pedro owes me and you can get your son back. You hear me? Call your mother. I want to see Ignacio. He's not with my mother. He's with Pedro. You are the worst kind of man. Coward. Be brief, Isabel. I have no time for you. You assaulted your wife, Pablo. And you know very well that's reason enough to go to prison. What do you know about relationships between a man and a woman? You have no idea how much being your sister hurts me. 
What you did to Milena is the worst thing that you could do to a woman. Tell me, did you feel macho forcing her to have sex? Pablo, she's the mother of your son. That lack of respect is a humiliation okay, that she enough. won't forget. Who are you to stick your nose into my life? And what does Milena tell you about our intimate things? Let's be honest once and for all. What interest do you have in my marriage? Are you trying to break us up? And is it true you came to check the electricity? Yes. Well, because you're very young to be an electrician. My son is too cute for you. Mom, if you want, why not just ask her for a birth certificate? Well, if she has nothing to hide, well, perfect. Oh, and uh, add an ID and a letter of reference from your landlord and employers. <laughs> Mom, I understand you want to take care of me. <sighs> But I'm old enough now to do that for myself. Plus, Maria Benita is a decent woman. Oh, I get it. She didn't come as an electrician. Mm-hmm. She came as a date. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay, I won't ask anymore. Okay, <laughs> but when you give me the grandchildren, they will be the cutest in the world, because I do want grandchildren. Don't listen to my mother. She's crazy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> to take a case that will put us on the map again and bring us a substantial income. It will come. It came and I accepted it. It's a simple and fast case, but it will bring a lot of money. Don't tell me that. I did it. I agreed to defend the cartel. But why? Why did you do so that? So I could protect you. Or do you think that the attacks are going to stop? I've had to give up, Marco Aurelio. These types of people will never give in. Well, neither will I. So you will quit that case. I'm sorry, I can't. We have a date for the first hearing. It's a fact. Corona, Sotillo, and Associates will represent the cartel. I need to see Pedro. Sorry, Pedro is in a meeting with an important client. You'll need to wait. Do you have my son here? Your son? I don't know what you're talking about. His name is Ignacio. He's five years old and he's sick. If you have him here, you tell me, right? I'm his mother. Please help me. Excuse me. And who are you? Do I know you? Yes, of course. You were at the party at my brother-in-law's, Marco Aurelio. Of course, I remember very well everybody who was there when he was attacked. Yes, I was at the party. Mm, oh, I know. You found the purse and came back to bring everything you stole from it. Ah, oh. No. <laughs> ah, no. So you're not Maria Echeverry? Uh, oh, uh, uh, who are you? Why are you in my house? I'm Virginia Ramirez, your son Elvis's girlfriend. Oh, oh. Marco Aurelio. <laughs> 